Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another reaction. The video we're watching today is 10 space photos that will give you nightmares. And I mean, yeah, I done a space reaction like five days ago. And from what I saw, it went down quite well. And I obviously enjoyed it because space reactions are fun. I think I've pinched a nerve in my left arm. So if I make sudden movements or if I accidentally hit it and I'm in agony or it just starts hurt, I don't know. It just hurts, man. I'm in pain doing this. So my legs screwed. My now I've pinched a nerve in my elbow from my funny bone. Like the feeling that I got, it was like just a shot through my arm where it was just a sudden feeling of pins and needles and feeling numb. And it's still sensitive, even though it was like two hours ago. But you probably don't even care. I'm going to get into this reaction. And I mean, yeah, let's just check out what photos are involved in this video. Have you ever taken a photo and noticed something in the background that shouldn't be there? <laughs> the a face, dog pissing, a what? Figure, or unexplained lights creeping. <laughs> right? This ain't space. What's going on here? Yeah, How much true. scarier is it when they appear in pictures taken in the dead of space, where no one can hear you scream? I wonder how scary Ten, this is going to be. At the end of one's tether, the USA and Italy celebrated the 75th space mission in 1996 by sending an experimental tether into orbit. The aim was to investigate new sources of power, namely a way to cleanly harness solar wind to power spacecraft. As the shuttle crew began deploying the satellite, the umbilical tether snapped, sending the oval-shaped equipment drifting off in the direction of deep space. The mission video shows unexplained bright objects flying around the detached tether like wasps buzzing around a nest. NASA conveniently omitted the bright lights from the mission report, and to date has refused to acknowledge or explain the bizarre phenomenon. Did the objects approach to investigate the bizarre floating piece of space junk? What were the they responsible for the tether snapping in the first place? Nine. That's not scary. A cup of tea. I don't know why that's scary. What the fuck? Apollo 16 took off on April 16th, 1972. After just 11 days in space, the three astronauts on board saw something so unbelievable it demands attention. They caught a glimpse of a strange circular shaped craft with a great dome like structure. They managed Is that a to real picture? A video lasting oh, only shit. a few seconds, which clearly showed the anonymous UFO. In a typical oh, my deny days. everything fashion, the tape mysteriously vanished for over 30 years. Even more unbelievable is the fact that no copies were made. Well, that's what they thought. A worker stumbled across the tape at Johnson Space Center. Thanks to some digital wizardry, a high-res scan of the tape allowed for a more detailed look at the object. What the Concentric fuck? Concentric white and gold circles covered the dome and a long, thin structure extending from the side. For all extents and purposes, that's a flying saucer. Wait, what? I'm so baffled. What the hell is that? Obviously, they don't know that's why it's considered a UFO. I mean, it can't be a planet in the distance because it wouldn't look that big. And obviously, it looks like it's approaching the moon. What the hell? Eight. I see the light. That's more like it. The Mars rover Curiosity is the gift that keeps giving. It's still operational and sending data back to this day, a full six years longer than expected. On the 3rd of April, 2014, our little friend picked up a Martian beacon of light. In the distance, behind the cover of a dune, a bright light beam can be seen extending up into the sky past the horizon. The light was picked up by the right camera though strangely not by the left. Easily explained, as there is a delay between the two cameras, and the light turned off before the left side camera activated. NASA suggested it was a glare shining off a glistening rock. Doubtful, as the image was taken during a period of low light. They then said a cosmic ray hit the camera sensor, but if this was true, there would be image anomalies every day. The kicker is that the same beam of light was picked up again in an earlier photo try explaining that is it maybe it's the sun shining on like a rock and it's just the lights beaming is that possible because obviously the sun will shine on certain things like coins uh, is it coins like when you i remember being in like school classrooms or your phone screens and you were sort of or what i used to do is like i was just i think probably the first time i just noticed oh my phone's emitting a light and then it's going onto the wall and then it'll start playing on my phone and start moving where the light goes to and trying to get it in people's eyes. I guess it's kind of like that, but I don't know if materials like rock and stuff sort of shine like that. 
But I just assume it's something like that, right? But God, I don't know. Did anyone else do that in school? <laughs> used to be the most fun. I hated school. Didn't enjoy listening to the teachers. So that was just what I would do. I don't know how I passed the majority of things because I <laughs> pay attention. I just do silly things like that. Seven. Oh, mate. Martian Sasquatch. Martian Sasquatch? What? Wait, Sasquatch is Bigfoot, right? Could Mars be home to or alien hominids? The same species. The answer, made up species. Well, I think. Maybe. The Mars rover Sas picks up a confronting image that is yet to be explained by NASA. Or as we like to refer to them, never a straight answer. Whether a life form or a sculpted statue, is that, there that is no denying that this is not just a natural rock formation and trick of the light. A plausible explanation no way, that's could be it's just a case of pareidolia. This bizarre phenomenon is behind people claiming an elvish shaped kidney bean or finding the face of Jesus Christ on a burnt piece of toast. Are we looking for alien <laughs> life so hard that we He's imagine lying it yourself through your eyes, what? Or is this just a convenient cover story and the truth of whether alien life exists is sitting right under that our nose? That does look scarily like human, but obviously this wouldn't be human because they're on another planet. But I am kind of baffled, but again, it probably just is an, an angle or just one of those things where you look at it and it just looks like something when it's not. Six. Like an illusion. Not one of ours. An amateur astronomer witnessed a bizarre object orbiting the Earth back in 2012. It was also observed by a larger telescope in Italy, who estimated it to be around 60 feet long, oval in shape, and spinning around on its axis at around one revolution per minute. They dubbed it J002E3. The rotations cause the object to alternate its luminosity, but even so, NASA's UFO program failed to detect it when scanning NASA's? near Earth's space he calls it for NASA. anomalies. <laughs> they commented that it did not match any space debris from recently launched spacecraft, and that it must have entered Earth's orbit fairly recently. It had it's a constant. bizarre looping orbit which was inherently unstable, causing How the object to it? leave Earth's orbit, where it settled again in a solar orbit. Experts say it'll come back to visit in around 30 years based on projections, while enthusiasts claim it was an alien craft. Five. What? Five, in 30 years time, it's gonna be back. Well, damn. Hopefully we got the see news. It. Back in 2009, we NASA the launched the Lacrosse mission what? to the moon. But in reality, many people described it rather like a kamikaze mission, because once it was in orbit, the 2.2 ton payload rocket booster was fired at the moon because reasons. The rocket went inside the Cabeus crater near the southern pole of the moon, impacting and creating a huge plume of dust and debris. The mission aim was to have a lunar reconnaissance orbiter take samples during a fly through to determine if moon craters contained frozen water. So are we just gonna are we just gonna end up destroying the moon? We've done enough of the Earth, we're now gonna move to the moon and just try and mess it up there. This might sound really stupid. Is it possible that with nukes or stuff to like like big nukes to move the moon out of its orbit i guess not because it's still a huge nah it's not gonna be possible is it i mean the moon's still massive and maybe in future though it's probably gonna be possible that we could build something that could move out of its orbit i don't know though i mean hopefully not because if we could then imagine war like war in a hundred years time where you could threaten to move the moon out of its orbit and destroy earth as it is or whatever yeah but maybe not i don't know if that'd just be just Unimpossible, not unimpossible, impossible, like to even just do because it's so big. Images sent back from the mission show a rectangular structure in the shadow of the crater, leading some to suggest that NASA dropped a nuclear weapon on a moon base with a search for water, which is a huge cover story. Alien headquarters <laughs> or foreign government research facility. Four, Thunderstruck. While a probe was orbiting the moon in 1972, NASA caught a glimpse of bizarre flash of lightning within the dark shadow of the Stein crater. It's unsure if the discharge of electricity is hitting the moon's surface or rising up from deep beneath it. This gave rise to the conspiracy theory that there's an underground moon base buried in the crater. <laughs> Not as far-fetched as you think. I love a conspiracy, but god damn. ...has drawn up secret plans for a moon base. They even had detailed schematics. It was called Project Horizon with the aim to be finished in 1966 at the cost of six billion dollars to that the taxpayer. That's sick though. But it was shut down by President Eisenhower. Another explanation is that it could be a lightning sprite. These are seen on Earth when lightning spreads out in the cloud, dissipating before it touches down to the ground. This would be a logical explanation. If only the moon had an atmosphere. 
Mm. Three, Man in the Moon. First, God, uh, there was Google that's Earth, the weird shadow, which prompted right? keyboard detectives around. What I'm thinking this one is actually, again, maybe not. It's just a guess. First, there was Google Earth, the moon. Maybe not. I'm thinking it's the ship because obviously this is taken from like a space, not a spaceship. I don't know, just a small little craft. Yeah, I guess a spaceship because obviously when they break off, they're quite small. I'm thinking it's just the shadow. Maybe it's going to land on the moon or something like that, and it's just a shadow of it dropping down. Right? I mean... First, there was Google Earth, which prompted keyboard detectives around the world to reveal some oddities that deserve their own top ten list. I've seen some weird Not things on Google Earth, man. So many Google doubled down when they teamed up with NASA in 2009 to create the rather unimaginably named Google Moon. I think it was a dead body It took anyway. no time at all for some internet super sleuth to scour the surface of the moon and find something extremely unusual. There appears to be a shadowy figure taking oh, a leisurely that? stroll up there on the lunar surface. We're not saying oh. it's a giant. NASA have refused to comment on the bizarre silhouette and even left it on Google Moon. Denial of the truth or epic troll? To it's so weird because like, to your leader. sometimes I want to believe this stuff but then sometimes my mind's like, it's just, it's not going to be that, you know? I'm quite skeptical. It's like my mind just decides when it wants to believe things and not. Obviously, if that's the case, it would be quite cool or quite scary, but I don't know. I mean, what I don't know what other explanation there could be, to be fair, other than like the shadow of something, which, well, it's going to be a shadow, but a shadow of like a ship or something that the human, that the humans, that humans have sent the humans. Why am I talking about us like we're different? The Martian <laughs> surface is a vast desert of rock and red dust. Or so we thought. Mars. The Mars Opportunity rover sent back an extraordinary image on the 17th of March 2017 of what appears to be a huge chunk of shiny reflective metal poking out of the ground it's unlike oh, anything man. seen in any of the other images we've received from the mission dark shadowing around the anomaly makes it different to see whether it's coming up from the ground resting on the ground or hovering in the air it really does look exactly how you imagine an alien spacecraft to look a round flat disc with a raised dome on top acting like a cockpit the resemblance is uncanny. Could weird. this be another case of pareidolia, where we see what we want to see, or finally some evidence of the existence of intelligent life other than mankind? One, otherworldly standing stone. Here on planet Earth, many civilizations have erected rectangular slabs of stone. The Stonehenge of the space. Of gods and rituals. Atmosphere. There is Stonehenge in England. The, the Karnak space stones in France. The list is endless. We're still trying to figure out how ancient humans built these towering structures, let alone how one got on Mars. I mean, shit, these statues at the end of the day could be built from alien civilizations. Maybe that's where they, the sort of the signs of it are. We think it's all going to be on the moon and stuff, and in reality, the pyramids, the Stonehenge are all built from just humans, you know? No, sorry, not humans, from aliens. I mean, obviously, that's a conspiracy theory in itself, but maybe we should be looking closer to home. You never know. In you 2012, never know. an astronomer caught sight of a monolithic standing stone on the Martian surface. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter confirmed the structure and can be seen casting a long shadow present in images from two completely different angles. It's estimated to be over five meters in diameter with its straight rectangular sides screaming out, I was made, not formed. I mean, you never know, man. I do enjoy these space videos though, I mean obviously some of them I'm quite sceptical with, but I just, it's just fun to see, because again, the possibilities are endless, and this is just like, these are planets so close to home, there's obviously so many planets in this solar system, and you go out of this solar system, or like galaxy, sorry, you go out of this galaxy and you're just, the possibilities are endless man, it's just, whenever I get into these videos it just makes you really realise just, god damn, you just don't know what's out there. Flipping heck, I don't know. But I, I would assume, though, a lot of these sort of... A lot of aliens, the theories and stuff, I would think they wouldn't be so close to us. They'd be, like, in other galaxies and stuff. But, again, maybe maybe I'm wrong. Just don't know. But, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you want more of this stuff, let me know in the comments. More space reactions. Get in the comments about what you want me to react to. And I'll be sure to do so. But, yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.